NASCAR Whelan All-American Series. Champion, Lee Pulio. It was like a fairy tale, um, just really a miracle. Uh, blessed. Really didn't know how it was going to be possible. We just knew we were going to dig hard and do everything we could. Well, it was a, a dream come true, I guess. You know, we sit there for about six weeks and we put about 15 setups on the car and couldn't go run it because <laughs> we had to stay at home. Sitting out, that that made me more passionate about it. You know, I, I always have been passionate about the sport and loved it, but when I realized that that could be taken away from me, um, man, it put a big fire in me. We were, we were really successful at the, at the gate, and you, know, you really sort of had to pinch yourself every week to, to make sure you were really doing what you thought you were doing, and it just sort of snowballed, and who'd ever think we'd, you know, we'd won 22 races this year. I never thought that. You know. We were behind from the eight ball, so everybody else had, had a lot of races on us. You know, we just kind of started off in a pretty big hole, but it was neat watching the standings every each and every week the more we race. This year we've been able to keep up Garrett Bunch at Motor Mile. He, he's run limited sportsman for me and uh, Matt Taylor he runs up there too and both of them got several wins. I'm really blessed to have the opportunity to be able to work on those guys cars and, and do something that I love and enjoy. I run a cabinet shop and in my trade I, you try to be as professional as you can, you try to you know cross all your T's and dot all your I's, and I think it sort of follows over into the race. And sometimes you don't get a second chance, so you sort of have to go and, and make sure you, you double check, you do everything you know right the first time. You know, my parents have got everything they have in this deal, and I have everything I have in it, and really, if. You know, if things go bad, we're not going to be racing. And, and, you know, it's kind of a tough situation. We've, we've won a lot of races to be able to pay for it. Everybody's got their little place. Everybody's got their niche. Um, I've got some of the best guys in the business. Uh, Winston, he's here every week. He's always building something. Dave, he's, he's doing the bodies. You know, my dad's in here helping. It's, it's just everybody's got their little thing. You know, we all get in a little routine, and it's a constant work, and you never have enough time, but it always ends up getting done. Definitely couldn't do it without the guys behind the scene. Every guy's got his particular job, and, and, and he's expected to do it, and he does the best he can do at that. And by, by no means, we couldn't do it without the help. You know, we've, we've really, really worked hard to try to move up and try to run some truck races. And, you know, I, I personally, I don't know what doors may open up. Um, I aspire to move forward, but if not, you know, I've got a place here. And worst case scenario, we'll be running short tracks on Saturday night, and, you know, that ain't too bad. Yeah.